Good morning, you beautiful modern steaders. Oh, it's a beautiful day again today. Listen to them birds chirping. The grass is greening up. We got piglets back on the homestead. And they slept in the IBC tote, I hope, because I don't see them. I see one. I see a crazy white chicken. You sleeping? Good morning. You want some food? I brought out breakfast. There you go. You're all covered in straw. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Want to start getting them used to us touching them. Good morning. That white chicken wants in the pig pen. I have a cold or maybe allergies right now, and at night, I've been crashing hard, <laughs> so I've been locking up the animals, and I haven't felt like catching the crazy white chicken and clipping her leg, her legs, her wings at eight o'clock at night. <sighs> I'm hoping in a couple of days I start feeling better and then I can catch her and clip her wings. Sorry guys, my hair looks like a mess. I should have looked in the mirror before we came outside. Good morning girls, Hope, Buttercup. You're so mean, such a bully. It's all gonna change when Willow has her babies. Willa, be nice. Don't be so crabby, Patty. Hope is pushing Blossom out of the way. I like seeing that, Hope. You kick their butts. You tell them who's the boss. That little goat's gonna be running the herd before we know it. Good girl. I thought I was hearing something out here. I thought it was Hope, not you, Figaro. Where are you going? I need to open the goat door. What are you gonna do? Where are you going? Oh, Figaro. You coming out or you staying in? Enjoy, girls. They're calling for more rain today, and you can feel it in the air. I was hoping for a week without any rain. It dried up really nice yesterday with 70 degree weather and sun. We have a lot we want to get doing on the homestead, but we still can't. There's a lot of mud. They got the road band still on the road for another week or two. So we can't get gravel brought in. We can't get gravel brought in. That means we can't start building the new barn yet. One of the sayings I love reminding myself is, nature doesn't rush and everything gets accomplished. And that is so true. No matter how stressed we get about something getting done, by the end of the year, we accomplished it. We just gotta keep reminding ourselves. The only thing stress does is makes it worse. And it makes it probably take longer because we're spending too much time stressing and worrying with being, instead of being focused and working on the task. The chickens want out. Morning guys. Those three do not want to get locked up at night.
the grass is starting to green up nicely. We need to move New York City, but I wanna wait till the grass is a little bit greener and taller, because if I move the chickens too early, they're just gonna make another area look like this. And I, they're gonna make an area look like that. I only want it to be one. And we can reseed this, and once this grows back, it's gonna look awesome. But that's why I'm not moving them yet. I wanna give the pasture time to grow and to heal before we move them anymore. And same thing with the goats. If I move them to another spot, the next spot I move them to is just gonna get muddy and nasty, like the area they're in right now. So it's hard to keep them in one area, but it's for their own benefit and the benefit of the land. We wanna let everything grow up and heal up, and then we can move them. In our chick brooder, we have four, uh, I don't know, we got three black copper morans for sure, one olive egg layer, and maybe a second olive egg layer. They're all doing amazing. Their water is clean, they got enough feed. Tanner. I can hear the meat birds chirping. They, they did really well yesterday in the greenhouse. Let's see how they did last night. Well, they ate all their feed. Gave them some leftover bread. They didn't seem to care for that. They're doing really well in the greenhouse. The meat birds are in the greenhouse because it's still a little chilly at night for them out in the pasture where they're not all feathered out. And the ground is really damp. So we would lose probably a few, if not quite a few meat birds if we had them out on pasture this early in Northern New Hampshire. Have a good day at school. Enjoy band practice. Fruit, flute practice, my bad. Santa's gonna wrap you up. He don't want you to leave. He's gonna tie you there. Uh -oh. Love you. Mm -hmm. Did you eat all your breakfast? Or the white chicken eat it all on you? Looks like you spilt your water dish. Is that good? Willow is due any day now. There's a couple of little things we need to do to get ready for that. I keep forgetting about it, so we gotta do it this morning. Before we know it, should be having babies. Hope's probably not gonna like it. But I wanna take out Hope's kennel, get the water out, and the feed dish. I was gonna say, I'm sure they're gonna climb all over it now that I put it out there. They all gotta take their turn. Willow, you're pregnant. You don't need to get up there. <laughs> I know, I'm taking out what used to be your home. Willow. So once we know Willow is close, once she starts having her babies, or once she has her babies, we'll put her in the back milking parlor where we kept Hope for a while. And we'll keep her back there. And also, once she has the babies, if the weather's nice, we can get them outside. We'll move our dog kennel to a spot for her and her babies. So they'll be able to get outside, but they'll have a safe enclosure from the other goats. Give the pigs the bed and we'll let them compost it. <laughs> Is that good? If you can get pigs working for you in your homestead, they're so versatile. They can do so many jobs. Even if you can't, they can make some awesome compost for you for next year. Get you some good bacon and pork chops, but 
you have other jobs for them, there's so much they can do. I can't wait till our weather gets nicer. We can get them out working for us more in the pasture area. Oh, it's gonna be a good year. Last time we roasted up a whole chicken, but I didn't feel like making a stock with it last night. I stuck it in the fridge. You don't think you're gonna get to it within a few days? Stick it in the freezer and it'll be there when you're ready to make your own bone broth. I like leaving a little bit of meat on the bones. It gives the broth more flavor. If you got some limp celery, don't throw it away. That's perfect for your bone broth. Carrots. Onion. Some salt. I need some garlic. I put my garlic cloves in whole. I just take out the paper layer, outer layer, whatever you want to call it. Onion, I put that in whole, I just removed the outer layer. I want to salt it good, and we're going to fill it up with water. We have an eight quart instant pot here. I like using boiling hot water. It makes it cook a lot quicker. If you start with cold water, it's just going to take the instant pot longer to heat it all up. I set our Instant Pot for an hour, let it cook for an hour on the timer, and then once the timer's off, I let it sit under pressure for an hour before we release the pressure. It's starting to rain out. It's a good time to run to town, get some more pot and soil mix, and we can get some more seeds started. Tomatoes are doing amazing. They're loving those large soil blocks. Need to plant up the peppers into some larger soil blocks now. Look at all them roots. Ah. My guess is this mix isn't gonna be as fine as the mix we were using before. It's gonna be more coarse, is what I'm assuming. We're not going to add any water to it because it's already staying together nice. Makes a nice big soil block. Can't get over how well these plants have rooted up. Oh, they're gonna do so good.
sunrise in my eyes. Just like a new day, a breath of fresh air in my heart. We better go in the house and check in on that chicken broth. That smells so good, my stomach's growling now. <laughs> For me, I found a seed mat to be the number one key to success for starting seeds. It's a heated seed mat that warms the soil temperature up and it cuts the time down quite a bit for the seeds to germinate and I have a lot better success rate with using the seed mat. Alright, so these are the tomatoes we already did. Our receipt, peppers, peppers. What do we have here? This is the salad that one of our viewers sent. Thank you. Carrots, we don't want to start that. Cucumbers, cucumbers, carrots, squash, cucumbers, summer squash. We don't want to start them, we don't need to start them. Spinach, zucchini, corn, beets, beans, cauliflower, we should start that. Pumpkin. Now we have purple cauliflower. I don't have to keep an eye on all these seed starts now, but I bet you within a few days they'll start sprouting. One way to know if your broth is made good, if you can get some of the bones from the carcass, they're brittle and they fall apart like that, that means you got all the nutrients out of them that you needed to. Look at that, they just squish right apart. We're gonna make a snack bar. We're gonna need three cups of oats. <laughs> Three cups of flour. We're gonna use whole wheat flour. We can use regular flour. Half a cup of brown sugar. Is that good? Now we're gonna do a cup of honey. Okay. And 
then 12 tablespoons of butter. Alright, now for the blueberry filling. Go for it. Corn starch. I think the only ones enjoying this weather are the piglets. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe I spoke too soon. They were out. I think they're hiding in the IBC tote. But we brought them out some good food. Not only did we get a chicken broth, they get some deliciousness too. They're napping. Hey, piggies. You were out in the rain. I'll put it right here so you can have some chicken broth. They must have knocked over the dish and took the rock out. Oh, oh you smell that? That woke you up, huh? I look at that one. Oh, there you. Now that one, now the one with the white and the orange is smaller than the other one. Oh, that is good, ain't it? What's that? That one's smaller than that one now. Go ahead, get right into your food. Stand on it. That's some good celery. Yum. Remember to bring the girls out some seaweed? Yep. Thank you. I see your puddles are back now. Yep. There you go. Was it you, Hope? Jeez. I really do want some to eat. Hey, go ahead and enjoy it. They all want it. Except for Blossom. Is that good there, Hope? Have some willow. They thank you for the seaweed. Hey. Have some hay. Oh, Tooty Willow. Hope it's not even out here and you got an attitude. That's just your personality, isn't it, there, Willow? Hope you enjoying that seaweed. She's like, yep. Yes, silly. Did you finish that yet? You made short work of that, huh? It's great having pigs on the farm again. They'll eat anything, which is good. That means we get to turn it into bacon. I guess the chicken and the ducks like the rain too. Y'all wet. Moose, you're not supposed to attack me, dude. It's a good thing you're small.
Look at all of them eggs. Love it. It's at six, seven, nine, eleven. Some of them are still warm. Thirteen. 14. Watch out, Moose. I don't trust him lately. 14. 16. I don't trust Moose enough. Not let him get that close to me. He's still a rooster, and when I was just walking in there, he attacked my leg. I hear, and then I feel something, and it was him. So, you never want to take your eye off of any rooster. He's just doing his job and protecting his ladies and his eggs. He's gonna be the first to try one. Mm. Try right now. Can I throw a little piece right now? I want for one first. For what? For what? Yeah. Or I gotta try it. Mm. Right. Ready? We're trying to come up with a new snack option to have on hand at the house. It was a really quick and easy recipe to make. It was no egg or anything like that, so they should last a while. They were good. I think we could probably try adding different fruits in there, more fruit. If you wanted to do a chocolate chip, you could do some chocolate chips in there. But being the busy seasons are coming up, it's nice to have a quick, easy snack to grab. And I think this is going to be that for us. We're going to keep tweaking the recipe and we'll see which one we like the best. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys. I am hoping I can kick these allergies or cold, whatever it is soon because my voice does not sound the same and I apologize for that. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumina Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.